Hello one and all, this is Luckless Love Locks and welcome to The Inner World. This is a game that was bought uh, for me by Heretic Grimm and I'm finally getting around to playing it. Been looking forward to it for a while, there's actually a sequel coming out in a couple of days so I thought I'd try to get through the first one before I played that. For those of you that have been with me for a little while, it, this kind of resembles uh, like silence in tone. It's a playful fantasy world, probably with some feels as well. So without further ado, let's jump into The Inner World. Against all likelihood, there exists a universe consisting only of soil. Deep inside lies a vast, spherical world. Its people call it Asposia. Air enters this world through the three holy wind fountains. To this day, the origin of the wind is widely disputed. But the fact that it is dying out little by little is undeniable. Without the wind, the light went out. Without the light, the warmth went away. And in the cold darkness, the wind gods came. They have been haunting the Asposians ever since with their petrifying stares. The only wind fountain still blowing is guarded by the Abbot Conroy. He has devoted his life to leading the Asposians through these dark, cold times. Every day, Conroy preaches of austerity and obedience in hope that the wind gods will one day be appeased and the wind will return. Hmm. He is often observed by his young apprentice, Robert, whom Conroy has raised like a son. Hmm. Well, not like his own son, of course. Huh? Hmm. So the universe is almost like the opposite of ours. Oh. you pack. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to take that. It belongs to Conroy. I polish it every day for him. Pretty, isn't it? That's a medal or something? Oh, look what it can Peck do. Peck really wants to peck it. But I wanted Conroy it okay. says it reminds him of the most beautiful day of his life. Of course, he's never told me what that means. But you know what I think? It has something to do with that. He protected the people from the wind gods. Okay. I bet you've seen a lot, hmm? Being a pigeon. You know, I've never been allowed to leave the palace because of my strange holes. I wish I had stripes like everybody else. I think we all have but strange yeah. holes. I ah, need to be okay. Myself so that no one will be afraid and of me. And if the Basilian oh, turns uh, a stone, uh, it's your own uh, fault. Oh, these ungrateful worms I'm only trying doesn't to sound help. too popular I wonder why <clears throat> looks pretty serious oh <sighs> Robert my dear boy play my song what the hell kind of song is that one note <gasps> oh Robert, how many times do I have to tell you? One note, one beat. No wonder he's not popular. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a strong pigeon. No! What idiot let that thing in here? Uh, don't worry. Pigeon, I trusted you. You're gonna fall! Is he gonna kick him? I'll save your pigeon. Oh God! No, Robert, boy, stay That's how here. it starts. God, bring me the hedgehog. The hedgehog. Oh, uh, what? Hey, oh. Bring me the hedgehog. I really like the animation. <laughs> oh, there we I'll go. I'll catch it. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Thieving pigeon. Welcome. Would you like to view an overview of the game controls? Yeah, show me. Hotspots. Click and hold to see which objects you can interact with. Click on an object to examine it or interact with it. 
click on an item to examine it or use it. Touch the bottom of the screen to see what items you're carrying with you. You can combine items by dragging and dropping them. You can also use items from your inventory with hotspots throughout the world. Click on a conversation topic to talk about it. Garbage pigeon. Okay. Dialogue sub, uh, sub topics. If you've already heard everything about a topic, it will be grayed out. Back to the main topic list. Seems simple enough. Puzzle help. Okay, we'll probably need that at some point. These games are often very difficult in terms of solving the puzzles. Uh, settings and tutorial. You can access tutorial anytime under settings. All right, we're in. So we can see what we can interact with. Grab this bottle. It's filled with fermented nonterine juice. How long has that been lying here for? <laughs> Smells like Tuesday, a year ago. What does Tuesday smell like exactly? Conroy's garbage chute. Why does it lead to a residential area? Maybe that's why they're pissed off. Phosphos? A phosphos. Phosphos. Conroy hates phosphoses. I like them. They glow. Phosphos eye. Like Thank you very much. I can't reach it. Hmm. Looks like a story about Conroy. So that's Conroy's garbage dump? What do we have here? An old vase, a spindle, the right hand of a guy from the city, a scarf what? that I got him for his birthday. Hmm. That must have ended up here by accident. The right hand of a guy from the city? I don't want any of those things. A garbage dealer, eh? Let's talk to the garbage dealer. That guy looks like he'd rob me without hesitation. I should ask him if he'd help me. Hello, can you help me? That depends on what you need. I don't have garbage. Garbage? Pardon? No, not me. Nobody's stealing garbage here. Especially not me. <laughs> well, I'm actually looking for... Do you need garbage? <laughs> Whoa. Nice shorts. Is that his underwear? <laughs> it's just in his underwear underneath the coat. Uh, click on a conversation topic to talk about it. Let's talk about... He seems to be keen on garbage. Let's talk about garbage. What do you sell here? Well, I don't want to brag, but I have the best garbage in Asposha. The best garbage! You sell stinking garbage. Ah, I see. You're an expert. Since when are you into garbage? I've, um, always thrown it away so far. Well, then don't be shy. Go ahead and look around my little shop. What does he have here? He's got a sandwich, a picture, toothbrush, a doll, poison. Bag with a bird on it. I don't know what that is. Bird feed, maybe? And the letter A. Bird feed. What's that? It's the best bird feed. I swear, no creature with wings can resist it. Uh? Great. That's exactly what I need. Can I have it? For a few asporororo, it's yours. Uh, what? Oh, I guess it's money. Aspo ra ro ri Sounds great. What's that? That's the price for the bird feed. I see. And what does that mean? Okay, I get it. You want to negotiate. Do I? What do you think of Asporora? Aspora? Are you trying to insult me? Okay. What do you think of Aspororo? And I'll even throw in this Conroy doll. Oh, it's a Conroy doll. <laughs> He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. That's really kind of you, but I really don't need that. We got the real thing. Do you have any idea what features this doll has? Conroy's help is good and fine, so be nice and wait in line. You get all yeah. that for us, Porora. That's as low as I'll go. But... Okay, Asporo, but really no lower. <laughs> let's talk, let's ask him about the letter. Is that an A? This? Do you maybe want to buy a letter? 
You can have it for a few was pity. <laughs> Why would I need one of those? What's your name, kid? Robert. Well, if you'd have an A, you could make it Roberta, for example. <laughs> or Robert. The possibilities are endless. Look at no, our thanks. Boy. I have a headache now. What's that? This? An exquisite scent. It has only been eaten twice before. Only twice. Um, thanks. I'd rather not. You sure? I also have a half full root milkshake to offer with it. At least I'm pretty sure that it's a milkshake. No thanks. I've somehow lost my appetite. Who knows if I'll ever find it again. Okay, do well, uh, we ask about this again, Esporo? I have no idea what you're talking about. Can't you just give me the bird feed? Okay, Aspiriri is fine. Pardon? Aspiri. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, jeez, okay. I'll give you the feed for Esps. Are you happy now? Um, I don't know. What? Okay, I'll give you the doll on top of that. Agreed? Just take it. <laughs> we did it. Does this mean I can have the feed and the doll for free? Yes, I told you. How much more do you want to humiliate me? Thank you. You're very nice. Really wants to get rid of that you doll. You are the most cunning, cold-hearted as potion <laughs> I've ever had the displeasure to meet. Oh, I I'm very sorry for that. Well, thank you for the feed. All right. We're making progress. What's going on here? He's digging into the sacred earth. Catch that worm. Yeah, so what I was saying before is this really interesting. It's like the opposite of our universe. Entirely full of soil, and then their version of earth is like on the inside it's air. It's kind of cool. I like I like that idea. Slippery little it's too fast. What is this? A wanted poster. I wonder why they search the girl. She looks rather nice. Don't take down the posters. So we didn't get the worm. A wind sock blowing in the wind. It's a wind turbine up here. The wind turbines in this town have become useless ever since the wind left. Kind of moving back and forth. Crutch. Oh, a crutch. Whose crutch is this? Oh, I would recognize that smile anywhere. Conroy. Smile. It's got an, an anarchy symbol there. Or an A. That thieving pigeon. Let's try using the bird feed. The bag is tied up with string. I'll untie the knot. Hey, it's empty. What's the matter? Do you want your money back? Well, the bag's a bit. Watch it, pal. I mean, that practical string is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so there is no bird feed. Can we buy? What is? What exactly it looks is this? pretty fermented? Okay, fermented. Poo! That smells disgusting. No, now is no time to fool around. Okay, what about this? I can't do that. No, now is no time. That won't work. Can't combine any of that stuff. Do you need some thread? I don't think he needs some. Hmm. What else is there to click on here? Phosphos. I can't reach it. No, now is no time to fool around. I think we need to get the worm somehow. Oh, there's a fish there too. There's a fish on the windowsill. I wonder how it got up there. Hi, worm. You look thirsty.
Ooh, that's pretty mean. <laughs> it's drunk. Okay, let's grab the drunk one. The party's over. So we've got a drunken worm. See the pigeon I don't wants think it? That will work. Street with bars. So we can come back here if we want to. That's just a random guess, isn't it? Uh, maybe. Well, I, if it's just lying here, I guess I can take it. Oh, I see. What if we do... Oh, now the crutch's tip broke off. I hope the crutch's owner doesn't come back. Although I'd be faster anyway. Oh, okay. This looks kind of like a sling. No, the thread would just come undone. Or not a, not a sling, but um... Slingshot. No, now is not. Why should I do that? That could be fun. I guess he doesn't notice much anymore. Oh, God. No, no. Yes, we're using the worm. Okay, and then I was thinking the cork. So we can shoot the cork at. So what should I shoot at first? Um, jeez. The fish? Or the pigeon? Okay, pigeon. You didn't want to listen. Now you don't have a choice anymore. <gasps> that doesn't seem to bother it. But I'll take that cork with me. Let's try the fish. Well, I only hope I won't hurt it. Maybe if we knock the fish down, it'll come down. Well, Worm, now you're free again, but I'll keep this cork. Can we grab the pigeon? Kitty, kitty, kitty. It's not a kitty. Uh. It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. Use the puppet? No, now is no... That could be fun. Won't help, though. So if I move over here... Hmm. Maybe I could trap it somehow? Why should I do that? I don't know what this what is this spot sauce all about? Hmm. Hen Ah, you again. Maybe we can get more stuff. What else do you want? You already took my self-esteem. Um so that's with the pigeon. Can you help me? I have to catch that pigeon. Sorry, kid. If I leave my spot, everyone will steal my garbage. But Fair enough. I only see one potential suspect. Again, concerning the garbage, well... Stop begging. I won't give you any more for free. Let's try pigeon again. How can I catch it? I have no idea. I'm selling garbage here, not answers. Your answers are garbage. Well, I guess I'll be going then. Okay. If you need garbage sometime, you know where you can find me. Hmm. I don't think that will work. We do? No, now is no time. Yeah, I don't think... What, is there anything else I can click on here? I might need to go to the street. Let's take a look at the street. I have to catch that pigeon. Oh, okay. I we, won't. Have, we have no choice right now. I better keep that. Can't combine that these, won't right? work. Oh, 
Oh my god, hopefully the fish didn't hurt itself falling. I figured maybe we could like, I figured like we could, we could make like some kind of snare. No, now is no time to fool around. What else can we click on? Phosphos. What's the deal with the phosphos? A phosphos? Conroy hates phosphoses. I like them. They glow. I like light. They glow. How is that going to help us? How's that supposed to work? So the wind sock. Blow in the wind, little sock. Not blowing. The wind turbine is not going. The wind turbines in this town have become useless ever since the wind left. And I thought it liked me. I've used everything on this pigeon. That won't work. Well, I could, but I won't. <laughs> Maybe the cork? That won't work. It's kind of what you do when you're not sure what to do in these games. Use everything I on everything. I don't think that will work. Maybe I'll want to trade for something? What am I supposed to do with that garbage? Sell it? What am I supposed to Okay. What am that won't work. I don't want any. No. I can't do that. I don't think that will work. That won't work. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay, I don't know. I feel like I've tried everything on everything. I can't do... So, the problem... The reason why I can't pick up the fish because it's slimy. It's totally greasy. I can't grab it. Can't grab it because it's greasy. Oh, have we tried... Can we use this stuff on ourselves? No. He who works without a moan, the bazillions won't turn to stone. Great! The puppet even has Conroy's voice. Okay. Oh, maybe we could use it over here? Those who labor with a smile are... Sh nope. It talks when pressed. Sacrifice and austerity. Ha! Huh. Now I have you right where I want you. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to look at the hints. Try to catch a pigeon, yeah. Quest for the silver phosphorus. As soon as Robert comes near the pigeon, it flies away. He needs something to catch it from... Distance. Sure. A net. What am I supposed to do with it? Does anything look like a net here? I guess the puppet kind of does. Um, take its clothes off. Does anything else look like a net? I can't. 
can't reach it. The phosphorus kind of looks like a net. I don't think that will work. I'm still stuck. The wind sock. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Of course. Oh, great. My own wind sock. Wind socks are awesome. I didn't think to pick it up. That totally makes sense. All right. Good idea. No! <laughs> oh, that didn't work out. Um, what do we have left? No, now is no time to fool. If I tie the end of the windsock with thread. There we go. It's okay. I'll have a great net. Okay, I got this. I got this, guys. You can't escape. Hey! <clears throat> Whoa! What do you think you're doing here, Bozo? I, uh... A little hint? You're about to steal my pigeon. Oh, yes, uh... What? I'm not stealing the pigeon. It stole from Conroy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, stolen... Do you come here often? <laughs> Whatever. Peck, come here. Oh, she sent Peck to steal Tell that. Conroy that from now on the winds are about to change. Ha! It was nice to meet you. Okay, keep calm. What would Conroy do? Probably oh, no. use the hint system. He will kill me. I have to find that pigeon and the girl too, especially the girl. If I only knew her name. Da, da, da. Laura, what is the theft, hostility towards the state of exposure, assault, chewing gum in public, and raiding the Brazilians? Whoa. She has a beautiful smile. Chewing gum in public. Too far. Grab that. We it might need that. just lying here. And the fish. Still it's too slippery. Totally greasy. I can we pick it up in this? That won't work. Okay. I wonder if there's some way to get this phosphos. Can we net it? That won't work. Hmm. Okay, street with bars. Assume we have to move on. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's the groundhog. <laughs> porcupine? Is it porcupine or groundhog? Or hedgehog? It's a hedgehog, right? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> This is a strange, strange game. Is that her? This melody. It's familiar somehow. Foss, the staggering Phosphos. Hello. Hello, young man. I've never seen you here before. I'm new in town. Please. Who comes here voluntarily? Actually, I'm just looking for someone. That's about Laura. Have you seen a girl passing by with a pigeon? Her name's Laura. The one from the posters? Yes, she just passed me. I have to find her. What a coincidence. I know where the young lady is hanging around. What? Really? Oh, perfect. You have to tell me. She's been stealing from Conroy. Poor Conroy. I don't think people like Conroy here. I don't even own anything worth stealing since my husband left me. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. He got turned into stone. Oh, oh still sorry. Yes, at least you can rely oh. on the Brazilian. She's happy about that. Where did she go? You know who she is? I can tell you a thing or two, my boy. But knowledge comes with a price, if you catch my drift. Uh-huh. You don't get it, do you? I'm afraid not. I would like to tell you. But worrying about my baby has made me forget everything. If my baby would be warm again, I could probably remember. Need something to warm her baby. 
What else about Laura? Just tell me where she is. <laughs> oh, do you have something in for me in return? No? Well, then I can't recall at the moment where she went off to. Fair enough. What about this the song? song? It reminds me of something. Beautiful, isn't it? My dear mother used to sing it to me. Maybe that's where, um, maybe that's why we're reminded of it. Maybe our mother sang it to us as well. Your baby's cold, but it looks so happy. Yes, with a smile, it can better stand its destiny. Well, the cold, or the hunger, or the despair. E. Oh, I'm so sorry. How sorry? Uh, what? Well, I get sympathy every day for free. What I really need is something for my baby to wear. Don't you have, oh, like... I understand, but now I really have to... Thank you. You're an angel. I had a onesie in mind. A what? It looks like she's a got a lot onesie. of cloth there. You know, footed pajamas made from strawberry yarn for my baby to wear. Strawberry yarn? Okay. But where do I get such a onesie for your baby? If I'd known that, I would have taken care of it myself. Believe me. But I have to stay here and protect the few belongings I still have. And the baby, of course. Where should I start looking for something like that? You'll think of something. Oh, it really should be organic strawberry yarn. <laughs> but isn't Jeez. that the most expensive material in Asposia? The Wind Monk's fabric. The fabric of nobles. The baby insists on it. Oh, yes, of course. I guess then you should start to look for it. Okay then. A onesie made from strawberry yarn. Should be easy enough. Well then, goodbye. Okay. If you're ever looking for me, you know where to find me. I won't go home, that's for sure. <laughs> Weird lady. What's this? It doesn't look very stable. Whoever lives here doesn't own anything worth locking away. Can we go in? This door belongs to someone. I think it'd be rude to take it with me. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Let's see what's in there. A pillow? Half a glass of pickles, mm, pickles and a few nails. I wish I had such a nice room in the palace, but Conroy says wealth spoils character. Okay. Can we go in? What am I supposed to do with it? In order to break it, there'd have to be a pane of glass there. Fair enough. What's on the board here? Today, jaw shatterer for Aspiri. This must be a dentist's office. Uh, I don't think so. The bar. The staggering phosphos. Why is it staggering? Because it's drunk. So they, they use these uh, phosphos for light here. A phosphos. They give off light and warmth. They don't eat, produce noise, or exhaust fumes. Practical, but they need wind in order to glow. Ah, okay. They need wind. Mm. Walking stick. Let's grab that. I'd better take it before someone steals it. Oh, here's one of the petrified Esposian. I wonder what he's done to incur the Basilian's wrath. This was either caused by a bazillion attack, or someone built a house without a roof. Uh. What's the use of a house without a roof? And, oh, that's to go back, back to the street. Let's talk to the little boy. Oh, the little boy's playing. I used to play Escape from the Palace. Conroy even played with me. I never won. <laughs> we were trying to get out. I have a feeling we didn't really like it there. Hi, little guy. Friend or enemy? Uh, 
friend? Hmm, I guess if you were an enemy, you would let me know. My name is Detza, gentleman, adventurer, and explorer of everything unknown. Name your request. Uh, how about that map? What kind of map is that? It's a treasure map. It will lead me to the Bazillion's treasure. That sounds awesome. Where is the treasure? It says it's somewhere in the root forest. Oh, in Asposia's most dangerous place? Nobody's ever returned alive from that forest. Yeah, I know. I was there once with a boy from the neighborhood hunting for gorfs. I tied him to a tree. He was never to be seen again. Oh. Yeah, but my mom said he's in a better place now. Sounds horrible. How, how can we get to the treasure, though? Are you sure that this is a treasure map? I like it treasure. It looks like a knitting pattern to me. <laughs> oh, come on! Do I look like I can't tell a treasure map from a knitting pattern? No. Uh, yes. Oh, maybe it's for a onesie? I mean, of course, but I think that... Listen, I will tell you what I've been trying to tell my mom. And the judge. And the uncle who wanted to discuss my dreams with me. <laughs> if I tell you it's real, then it's real. That's commitment. More ways than one. Can I have a look at the treasure map? No, I want to find the bazillion's eyes. Okay, he just, he just won't budge. Is that your Foss Foss? Yes, its name is Foss. I <laughs> of course it. it is. You did? How so? It was captured on Asposia's highest tower. Isn't Asposia's highest tower the lighthouse that doesn't shine anymore? Whoops. Hmm. Yes, I remember Conroy telling me that the Foss Foss there had been stolen from the tower. Not stolen. Free. That's one way of looking oh. at it. Wouldn't it be easier to have another pet? Like a tiny, soft, tumble mouse? I used to have many tumble mice. But they always flew around all over the place. Oh, so they were blown away from you? They wanted to escape, but I stopped them. I see. And how did you do that? I stapled them to the ground. Whoa, this kid oh. is, uh... So they stayed. Oh. Yes, I also used to have two spindle Got some pillars. some problems. They always wanted to crawl away, too. Ah. Uh -huh. Don't tell me. So I stapled them. Oh. No. Oh. No. I also had a wooloof. Oh, no. But it didn't want to stay either. Please, don't continue. Let me guess. Yes, Mom told me to keep my hands off the animals. Yes. And off staples. <laughs> Nowadays, Phosphos are rare animals. I know. That's why it was so hard to get this one here. Can have have you ever thought about adopting any pet other than a Phosphos? Like what? Well, maybe one that's, um, a little more durable. Like a brick. <laughs> Can't staple a brick. Well, I guess you could. Oh. What a nice pot. It's a helmet. Did you just call it a pot? Obviously. This helmet saved my life a million times. Like, like when I had to fight the root trolls. Uh-huh. How did you do that? Fire. Are you talking about that big fire two years ago? Otherwise, the root trolls would have destroyed Jeez, all of the exposure. This guy is destroying the, the city. And the flood extinguished the fire. You did that as well? If the question implies that I saved everybody's lives, the answer would be yes. What? This guy's caused like all the greatest disasters the city has uh, has had in the last several years. It's good that you have such a wild imagination. I don't think it's so good. But don't you think your mom noticed her pot is missing? It's a helmet. It's made of steel aluminium. I still remember how I fought off the legendary Gorf army. And how the Gorfs return to the root forest. Does your mum know you're playing here all by yourself? Yeah, and she said if I wanted to, I'm even allowed to spend the night outside. That's, um, understandable. She doesn't want him there. <laughs> oh. The treasure, yes. Let's ask about that. What is the Bazillion's treasure? The Bazillion's treasure is so secret that nobody knows what it looks like but it's most likely in a treasure chest. And what did the Bazillions put into the chest? Their eyes. Oh, 
Yuck. What would you do with them? I don't know. I guess I will try to break them. Why break the eyes? Is there more to talk about with the pot? I can't tell if that's great or not. Is the pot um, helmet bulletproofed? Unfortunately not. I tested it. How? I'm not allowed to talk about it until the trial. Whoa! <laughs> this kid needs to be locked so, up. So, you're looking for the bazillion's eyes? Yes! How many times do I have to tell you? If I'd had these stones, I could have turned Asposia's enemies into rock. Who are Asposia's enemies? Ha! It could potentially be anybody. Absolutely anyone. I feel like it's him. He's, he's the enemy. Well, that's it. Enjoy your game. What game? Okay. Wait a second. Um, what is this made of? A fine net. Guess we don't know. What should I catch with it? Oops. Looked off the screen. The original Conroy puppet for all his loyal. I'm wondering fans. what the cloth is for it that. Talks when pressed. Guess we don't know. Okay, what else is there to look at here? We can go into the bar. Can we go down here as well? To the Wind Fountain Square. Let's go into the bar. It's a beehive of activity. Let's talk to the sleeping guest seems first. To come here frequently. Comes here to sleep. Hello? He's smiling in his sleep. Hmm. He seems to be happy. Sweetheart, he's wasted. Oh. You tell. Hello. Are you the head of this establishment? Everyone's sleeping here. I have no idea, sweetie. But I'm the owner of this bar. How about a jaw shatterer? A what? Tempting. It's a liqueur. The specialty of the house. Thanks, but I'd rather not. Maybe a headcracker then? Or a lava streamer? All of that sounds rather violent. Violent? You probably mean easily flammable, sweetie. You look like you could use some more hair on your Wouldn't chest. Wouldn't that put less hair on our chest? Thank you get so burnt much. Off? Oh, well. I will drink it later if I intend to. Uh, kill myself so we've got a lava streamer uh, maybe she knows about laura have you seen a girl with a pigeon her name's laura oh sweetie i meet a ton of people here why are you looking for her she has something that belongs to me i can imagine that i'm sorry sweetheart i can't help you with that okay what about wooloof what is what is wooloof all about Oh, a small wooloof. Yes, isn't he cute? I got him after my last husband left. He eats and sleeps the whole day, just like my husband used to. You can barely tell the difference between them. Your husband? Where did he go? He wanted to run away, but he didn't get Let far. Let me guess, he got stoned also. What do you mean? He's right there. You can recognize him by his long nose and the coat hanger. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, he's right there. He hasn't been the same since he got turned to stone. <laughs> Every husband is getting turned to stone here. Hey, what about the monk? The man at the slot machine is a wind monk. Can you believe that? He's one of the great three. Him? That old pincer is a regular here. If you ask me, he's more of a great loser. But don't you feel honored that a real wind monk comes to your bar? As if I would need that. A monk in my bar. I was wondering why the Basilians haven't been in here yet. Should they? Are you a sinner? You know, sweetie, back in the day, men worshipped I think this me. is a picture of her back in the day. Believe it or not. Okay, 
And then I don't believe it. <laughs> Whoa. That's rough. Is he really in here gambling every day? Oh, when that old moron lost his wind fountain, he became a gambler. You could never get him straightened out again. I'd bet my garter on that. <laughs> What's a garter? Believe me, sweetie. If you get to see one, you're not going to be interested in what it's called. Why not? Oh, forget it. You'll figure it out. Figure what out? Maybe you won't. Looks like that's it. Bye. Take care, sweetie. At least husband. No, I think the poor guy has suffered enough. How about that coat hanger, though? Why has your husband been turned into stone? Because the Basilians were faster than me. That spell saved the disloyal dog. What do you mean? I mean, you can't castrate Whoa. a statue. No matter how hard you try. She was gonna castrate him? I guess I guess she was cheating on him. That is by far the ugliest canary I've ever seen. Dog. Cat. What game is this? Oh, honey. <laughs> hey there, little guy. Can I pet you? He seems to be busy. Eating some food. A pillow. What does it say? Content absolutely lethal. Serve with a slice of lemon and a cocktail umbrella. Yikes. No, I won't drink anything with a skull on the label. I've made that mistake before. Sleeping. Okay, we talked to sleeping guests. What else? Got some colored bottles here. What's in there? Strange juice. Strange brew. Let's talk to the wind monk. Wow, a real wind monk. What an honor. What is he doing? If I didn't know better, I'd say he's gambling and drinking alcohol. <gasps> oh no! Come on, come on. Oh, damn. Hello. Wow, you're Malleus, the wind monk of the valleys. Now, what the? Brazilians? Are you there? No, I'm afraid not. It's only me, Robert. I'm so glad to meet you personally. Okay. Is there a reason why you're disturbing me? Why are you gambling? What are you doing? I'm, um, uh, meditating. That's one way of looking at it. Looks like a lot of fun. Fun? If this was fun, it wouldn't have anything to do with religion. But what? I'm, um, uh, looking for inspiration. By way of a jackpot. From a slot machine. Well, yes. Yes, well, until the inspiration finds me, it can't hurt to use the time practically. Right. That makes sense. So that's Somehow. what you're doing. What about Laura? Have you seen a girl with a pigeon? No. Are you talking about Laura? Yes, she visits me in the bar from time to time and brings me some root tea. Nice girl. Always realizes when she's disturbing. She stole from Conroy. That's an outrageous accusation. The poor thing has strayed from the right path. If she left the path, where can I find her? Rarely have I met such a non-spiritual root head like you. non spiri What? Ah, forget it. So, where can I find her? Does that mean you know where she is? I just told you that she's left the right path. She's I on the don't left know path. Where she went. More about gambling. But what does gambling have in common with inspiration? There are many ways of meditating. Just believe me, it will calm the Basilians. But Conroy is calming them. With meditation and discipline, I will... Are you still there? Yes. Where did I leave off? Oh, yes, I will wear this robe with dignity again. Bro, oh, damn it! That was all my money. Well, one last round. Hope you win. Does Conroy know what you're doing here? Well, not exactly. It's 
Um, it would be nice if it stays that way, if you know what I mean. What should stay what way? Exactly. What? That's the spirit. What spirit? We understand each I'm other. I'm all for it. Just give me your understand outfit. What? Good. Because I'm what sure it's, it's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so confused right now. So how does that work with the inspiration? Your little brain wouldn't grasp it anyway. Yes, high score. Order me another beer. But why do you believe that your gambling and beer drinking will calm the Brazilians? The Brazilians are puzzling. No, go away and let me drink. Ah, meditate. I could ask Conroy if he would help. No, thanks. I don't want to waste his time. Conroy is busy calming the Brazilians. Yes, they become enraged pretty quickly. If I would have known how hot-tempered they are, I would have chosen another job, believe me. This guy seems really virtuous. Aren't you afraid that the Brazilians will turn you into stone? If they do, it probably means that I deserve it. All right, fair enough. I'm sure that it wasn't only your fault with the Brazilians. Of course it was my fault. I'm only waiting to find out what I've done wrong. Good. I I'll go now. One moment, one moment, only one more game. Gambling machine. Let's see how that works. You insert money and pull the lever. And then again. And again. I don't think we have any money. No, it's being used. And besides, I can't waste my time with gambling. I have to find the girl with the pigeon. <laughs> what about the bumble bubblegum machine? There are bumble a lot of colored balls in there. I get the feeling that they're looking at me. I need to insert a coin. Don't have a coin. What is this guy all about? Seems like he's here often. No, I'll leave him alone to whatever he's doing. Okay, what else? Looks like we've interacted with everything except maybe the painting. Wow, that's the barmaid. She's really pretty. It's fascinating what time can do to a woman. Whoa! Now is not the right time for that. Hmm, what do we have here? Maybe he wants a lava streamer. Oh, wait. I don't think that will work. That swivel chair has seen better days. It's completely rusted up. Loose thread. Oh. That monk has really let himself go. There's a thread hanging from his robe. That would never happen to Conroy. Hmm. What happens if we pull it? Hmm. The chair seems to be rusted. How long has the monk been sitting here? What's going on? Nothing. Can we de-rust it? Why should I do that? Got a walking stick. We've got a net. Oh, I wonder. I wonder what happens if we do this. To keep the Basilians calm, remember to recite your psalms. I figured uh, the wind monk might react to it. We hit him. <laughs> well, I could, but I won't. Hit this guy. No, now is no time to fool around. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in here exactly. The sight of it calms me. Oh, okay. Corked up lava streamer. The lava streamer is all corked up. I can't do that. What is that going to do for me? I don't think that will work. 
Why should I do that? <laughs> Let's just catch him. Well, I could, but I won't. Hmm. Hello again. Is there anything else I can Sweet. talk to her about? I knew you'd come back. How can Audley help you? No, it doesn't look like it. Bye. Take care, sweetie. I feel like maybe we have to stop him from gambling. Let's leave the bar for now. There's another way, another way we could go. Arms. Oh my gosh, are those arms hanging out of the window? I hope the person belonging to those arms is still attached to them. Maybe not, considering what we saw in the garbage earlier. Hello up there. Can you hear me? Who's there? Friend? Enemy? Fan? A fan? I believe... Uh, friend? Oh, how nice to welcome a visitor. Yeah, why are you locked up? Why are you in prison? Oh, that's a long story. I've got time. I used to be one of Asposia's tailors, oh. but the wind gods found my robes to be too provocative. Can you make a onesie? They attacked the city, and Conroy captured me for my own safety. What? Against my will. Hmm. Actually, the story's not that long. <laughs> you have to be Asposia's best tailor. Oh, I'm only a small stitch in the unending scarf of history. So you're a tailor? Can you make onesies? Oh, young friend, it's a lot more than a job. It's a calling. The needles are mental extensions of my arms. You have to become one with the fabric. The material has to flow through you. So you're a tailor? Yes. You can't imagine how much I miss knitting. Yes. If you miss knitting that much, I it's can red. help you. Yes. Can you get me out of here? Oh, God. I've been waiting years for this moment. Hmm. Actually, I was hoping you could knit something for me. I mean, if you miss it that much and all. Oh, yes. Sure. That's also very... Mm, mm. What do you want me to knit for you? A onesie. Well, only if you want to. Oh. And then you get me out of here? I know. Conroy brought me here for my own safety, but I'd rather be turned into stone than spend another day in this cell. I don't blame well, you. Well, I guess I can see what I can do. Great. Okay. Well, then I need a knitting pattern, needles, and um, mm, what fabric are we looking for? Strawberry yarn would be best. Okay. Well, I'm familiar with that. I used to have straw beer yarn when I was, well, free. I have a feeling it's going to be the monk's outfit. But I really can't promise you anything. That's okay. This is the most hope I've had in years. That's, uh, um, really tragic. But back to the onesie. Feel free to ask whatever it is you want to know. Okay, where do I get the yarn? The onesie should be made from straw bear yarn. Oh, oh, I remember that material well. I designed the three wind monks' fashionable robes. They were made from finest straw bear yarn. The material is extremely rare and very expensive. The baby insists on it. I guess I'll have to come up with something else. No, I think we can get that. Um, we need some way. We might even be able to bring her that, that thread. And she can just work on it from there if the if the um, stool will rotate. Do you really require needles to knit? Yes. Call me old-fashioned, but I can't knit without needles. And we know where to get the pattern from that from that crazy kid. Where can I get a knitting pattern? Think of something. Imaginative. I kid. suggest something to way. you. You take your time and get the pattern, and I will wait here. Okay. How come you're a tailor? With those arms, you look like you could chuck an anvil. Pretty big arms. Oh, 
But don't get hands like my too. Two parents. They always wanted me to become a bouncer. But I discovered my love for yarn early on. I used to crochet in secret under my blanket. From there, it was only a matter of time until I worked with harder fabrics. At the age of 14, I started working with pillow lace. What could I say? My dad found out about my secret crocheting and threw me out. I spent several years on the street before a rich wool magnet picked me up. That's fascinating. Oh, I was a seamster like everybody else. The wool magnet discovered my talent and presented me to the right people and, well, my career started. Wow, it's great how far you've come. Yes, and now I'm here. Okay, I'm, I'm going now. Oh, okay, I'll stay here, yes. I'm really enjoying this world, guys. I'm going to wrap up this first episode here. I hope you're enjoying it as well. Uh, if you do, don't forget to like the video. I always ask on the first video for a new series. It helps other people find my channel. And uh, it's the best thing you could do uh, if you enjoyed it to spread the word about uh, the stuff I do. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next episode. Hoping to burn through this pretty fast. So I can be re releasing a lot of videos for it. So that I can start playing through um, the second one. And get that out for you as quickly as possible as well. That's it for now. This is Lux's Love Locks signing off, and I love you all. <laughs>